Any idea to the severity of Rodon's hamstring injury? Do you expect it to be an IL situation? Not sure. We'll we'll have an MRI tomorrow, and then we'll we'll have an idea. What did he initially tell you when he went out there? And you he wasn't sure if he was cramping or just um, you know, but then it it remained tight through you know even his warm up pitches. So got him out of there. So now we'll see what we got tomorrow. You guys had a lot of guys on base today. I think three for 12 with runners in scoring position. When you look at the bases loaded situation there in the eighth, were you okay with Volpe swinging at the first pitch? Yeah, bases loaded there. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe maybe slider got a little down on the plate. Um, but, yeah, I mean, at, at some point you got, you know, we got, we needed to get a big hit today. Um, I thought the at-bats were, were really good all day long. Um, you know, this – the, the strike zone control, you know, really got us back in that game. You know, the walks hurt them, but, um, you know, kind of walks hurt us too, setting them up for some innings. Why do you think you struggled to get that big hit this afternoon with all the traffic you had on the bases? Well, I mean, three for 12 is about what you're going to hit. Like, uh, you take, you know, seven runs and try and make that stand up, you know, but we're probably one big swing away from, from uh, you know, a double-digit day. And I thought Giancarlo had a great at-bat there uh, <clears throat> to finish things off, almost clipped him, had the right at-bat, got a pitch, um, you know, got in the air with authority. So, um, you know, I, th I thought we had good at bats all day. Glaber's at bat with the bases loaded when we tied it, I thought was terrific. Got deep in the count, got a pitch, hit it to the wall, you know, so just one of those things. I thought, you know, uh, you know, we talked about the, you know, getting better and better at bats here of late, and I thought we continued that today. Chris. In the six, why'd you leave uh, Wandy in to face the, the righties? Just short, you know. Uh, it was going to be hard to get to the finish line, so had to go with him there. You know, I didn't want to bring him in necessarily, even in the fifth, that early, just being short in the pen today. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that's where the walks kind of, even though we got out of that inning, the leadoff walk to Mavonado, then the walk to Altuve, and I just felt like had to go, I had to shoot w Wandy there to try and, control it knowing that I was going to send him back out for the six and try and get through the bottom there. Did, did you not consider Middleton for for the righty lane no, right there? No, not at that not not at that point um, in the sixth inning. It hasn't been the easiest week for your rotation. Just how would you assess your starting pitching depth right now? Well, it's definitely taken a hit, obviously. So we just got to make do and we got a lot of really good pitchers and we'll keep uh, we'll keep on grinding at it. In the back there, and Meredith, go ahead, Meredith. Aaron, you mentioned you were short in, in that bullpen. Who who was down this this afternoon? Uh, Hamilton and King were definitely down. Tommy a little bit. I, I would have used Tommy in like an extra inning situation, and I was going to use Clay in a in a save or ninth inning situation. So, you know, I, I mean, if I go to uh, Middleton there in the sixth, for him to get two innings was huge. He hasn't done that all year. So if I go to him in the sixth there and, and he struggles at all, I, we can't get to the finish line. So, or without losing guys down in the game, uh, you know, four out of five for Clay, four out of five for Tommy. So, um, you know, kind of knew we we're taking our shot there in the fifth, knowing, knowing we had to get Wandy through that six. But, you know, they came out and swung at that inning. I'm back. Contrary to the last couple weeks where when you've been trailing by a few runs and sort of struggled to get back in it you guys were in it up until the last out how encouraging is it for you though going forward that you guys battle your guys battled and got back in it right into the end yeah very encouraging uh, encouraging week for our offense I think um, you know we're not all the way where we want to be but I definitely feel like you know the at bat qualities we talk about the heaviness or I talk about that I want it to feel heavy I, you know, I, I think they went through a heavy lineup today. They had to work. They had to earn everything. And uh, that's how we need to make it. And especially, you know, we're getting down to whatever 50-so games left in the year. You know, we got we to gotta be clicking on all cylinders. And, and uh, I at least like the way we're trending right now. Mark. Aaron, prior to the uh, hamstring, just what do you think of Rodon and where the home runs kept biting him again? Yeah, I mean, I'd really say the walks bit him. You know, it's it's the two walks that you can live with the solo homer there. Uh, 
uh, uh, to Myers, the first one there, where I actually thought it was a fly ball. It looked like it carried pretty well. Um, you know, so the walks kind of hurt both sides today. Um, but stuff-wise, I thought he was good. Um, I thought he was throwing the ball well. I thought it, I, I haven't looked at the pitch yet, but the ball Alvarez hit out on him, um, you know, looked like a pretty special swing that he put on that ball. Um, so, you know, stuff's there. Um and some good things today, but again, I, you know, the walks really bit him and led to that three-run inning. I think you mentioned the other day also the at bats getting heavier, tougher, uh, grindier. I think you said. Mm -hmm. Just do you attribute that um, development to anything in particular lately? Because it wasn't happening as much earlier. Um, I mean, health. We got some key guys back in there. We got a longer lineup now. Um. um you know, and, and getting some guys rolling. We've talked about getting guys going. You know, I think DJ's been having more consistency at bats. John Carlo, you bring Aaron Judge back in the mix, like that really changes things. Like that's a real thing. Uh, you know, you, we don't just hope hope for the good at bats, but it's good to see everyone. Um, I think you sense that a little bit of feeding off one another. Is that something that Sean's also preaching? Because as he mentioned, yeah, but I mean, we up. we always preach that. Sure, it is something that Sean, you know, talks about. Um, and you know, we just want to make it difficult on the opposition, and we're doing a better job of that. Thanks. Okay, thank you.